Welcome back to the channel Gadgets for a Gentleman. In this video, I will unbox the Chromecast with Google TV. Previously, I owned the third generation Chromecast and I decided to upgrade to this uh, fourth generation of Chromecast. That was released in September 2022. I read that Google discontinued the Chromecast and in the end of this month, they will probably announce a new product called Google TV Streamer. So I decided to purchase this particular product because it's very affordable and it offers me all the functions that I need. This is the HD version, which retails for $29.99 US dollars. And it comes in the color white. There's also a 4K version, which has a bit better specs and it has three different colors. Sky, which is light blue, sunrise, which is a bit pink, and then there's snow, which is also white. The biggest difference between this version and the generation three is you no longer need your phone to use as a remote. As you can see, this package comes with its own remote and it has its own interface. As you can see, you can easily connect it with a HDMI cable, which is integrated in this design to your television and you need to power the device itself with this USB cable. I have a very simple 1080 television. So for me, there's no point in getting the 4K version, which is also just a little bit more pricier. One benefit of the 4K version, it has more RAM. So that could uh, lead to some smoother experiences. I just went for the budget option. And as you can see, it's quite a small package and it should work with YouTube, Netflix, Prime, Disney, Apple TV, Google Photos, Spotify, and so on. So let's open it up and let's have a closer look. So let's get started. A nice uh, presentation, as you can see. So here inside we have the Chromecast itself. And as you can see, uh, in terms of the design, there's quite some similarities with the version 3. Only difference, I think, this one is a bit larger in terms of the size. And here we have the integrated cable, HDMI. And here we can see the uh, model name made in Thailand. There's a button underneath. There's a LED indicator. Up next, uh, we have the remote. There we have it. And as you can see, that is quite uh, useful. There's a volume buttons uh, to the side, which is quite strange, but it's workable. And there are some easy to click uh, buttons. So that's nice. And I think this must be the battery compartment. And here inside there should go triple A batteries, A, A, A. So let me look for those. Uh, what more? There's, a, I think, a instruction manual. Hmm. So this European version only comes with these French, Deutsch and Netherlands. So let me double check. You connect it to the television using that HDMI and you connect it to your power socket with the USB cable. You need to select the television port. You need to place batteries two batteries inside of the remote. You need the Google Home app and install the device. So navigation buttons, uh, selection button, back, Google Assistant, volume buttons, home button, mute, and there's two app buttons, one for YouTube, one for Netflix, but it should be uh, possible to change these buttons. Turn on the television, there's a microphone, the building, and then there's the source for the television, LED indicator, uh, which will turn on when the microphone is activated. I don't see a LED indicator. I only see the cutout for that microphone. So I wonder how that works uh, in, uh, in action. And if you hold this button, you activate the Google Assistant. Inside the box, we can find Chromecast, remote, cable. This is a power cable, adapter, and two batteries. So these are small batteries, the uh, AAA batteries. Here we have the cable, which as you can see is actually, it's quite long. So that's good. 
so you have some some space to work with for your power socket i think this is over one meter usb-c and here we have the power adapter so that should go like there this sh should hook up like that Oh, and we can see the LED indicator. So that's it, guys. That was the quick unboxing. I'm going to set it up. And let me know if, if you want to purchase this product, if you're going to wait for the successor, which should be available on September 24th, the Google TV streamer, which would be priced $99.99. Or if you uh, stick with the Chromecast with Google TV, if you go for the HD, the $29.99 or the 4K, $49.99. I would like to hear back from you. Have a great day and see you soon.